Welcome back to the Well Amused Heap. As you can tell, it's quite immersive now. The audio is back. I'm sorry about the last episode. I also noticed I can fly a little higher because of my lightning boots. I didn't even realize that. But today we've got a new boss on our hit list, and that is the King Slime. That was my computer that just went off. Ignore that. Now, I fought him a bit in the last video, and I'm not confident I can actually kill him. Like, look, I'll just show you what I mean. Like, look at him. He's massive. On top of that, he has a bunch of enemies that fall and they deal poison and freezing. Now, what's nice is that he seems to spawn many different slimes. Some of them actually give me pinkies. Some of them give me frosted slimes, which don't drop anything. They're actually just a nuisance, honestly. Oh, it's one of the one of the crystals has popped out. Editor's note, ever since the second video was made, they had a patch update for Calamity Mod that apparently changed how these gems spawn. All three of them won't spawn at the same time anymore, and they all spawn progressively as the fight goes on. Ah, damn. I mean, I got a little closer than last episode. I think there was a thought I didn't finish. Uh, one thing that's nice is the jungle slimes that pop out of King Slime in death mode seem to actually drop stingers. And that's how I was able to get the blade of grass in the first place. What the hell is this? I really hate how much sand these things spew out. Wording, hand warmer. New set of accessories, check. New drip, check. This outfit didn't really get its time to shine. This is a cool looking outfit. Let's uh make it happen. Don't summon this. That's the wrong boss. I also really don't know how a true melee could do this. Really don't know. You go away. Ah, damn. It's, it's the jewel. It's literally just the jewel that's the problem. There's so many of these dumbass slimes. Ah, damn it, dude. <laughs> Again, did you notice that I was only exclusively getting hit by the fucking gems? Oh. Hi. And I have no idea what the hell's down here, except the fact that there's a weapon that I might want down here. Oh, that's, that's great. It's now incredibly dark. I'm also dying. Like, where's my magic mirror? What was happening to me there? Why was I dying? That was a pig. I've been doing a lot of reading, all right? I'm reading the wiki. And there's a weapon down here that I also saw in a video called a Death Crusher. It might help us. All right. Three buffs. Hunter, Gills, Sulfur Skin. We shouldn't have as many issues now. You know, exploring the deepest, darkest parts of a biome I've never seen before. Aquatic Scourge is no longer after you? What the hell was that? Why did I take so much damage? Oh, fuck. Ow. <laughs> I should probably watch where I'm going. Is there just something that's inherently just prevent lowering my health? Oh, my health is intentionally lowered to 100. That is a laser fish. I assume they shoot lasers? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. We're gonna try this again and try not to get killed. There's like a certain death level where it just takes away all my health and sets me down to 100. I see a chest. Who am I not to open it? Rusty Medallion. One Viper Fish. I am aware in Master Mode, they have a 15% chance of dropping the weapon I'm looking for. And it failed it. Great. Right, this guy is not leaving me alone. I'm also dying. <laughs> oh, with Flipper Potions, I can actually dive deeper and uh, faster velocity. Okay, yeah, holy shit. Wow, I've slept on gills potions. These things make you so mobile. Or no, flipper potions. They make you so mobile underwater. We want to avoid the laser fish. They're like incredibly dangerous. These viper fish, they're fast, but if you can get them stun locked, they're not a threat at all. I'm also noticing I'm losing oxygen around here. That doesn't seem right. Why? I don't know, there's something really satisfying about it. I think vanilla terraria really does need a biome like this. An area you can explore that's like fully submerged in water? Yeah, when we get to a certain point, I have an oxygen meter again. Oh my god. That was an insane dodge. I got it. Yes. Hell yeah. Keen Death Crusher. So basically what this thing does, it throws a little bouncing projectile, and then it throws more projectiles that home into enemies. I know, that's a melee weapon, by the way. Now, I'm not saying this is going to automatically 
let me win the fight, all right? The, the uh, Calamity Mod just doesn't operate that way. Ooh, an Obsidian Skin Potion. However, I guess with the help of some Hadle Stew, that should lend a bit of a hand this time around. Maybe I should actually get serious. Maybe I should actually like start growing some Daybloom. Actual, actually gather some Daybloom. All right, from the top. I think like it'd probably be more ideal to fight him on the ground, honestly. Yeah, I need to like I need to like bait it out. Oh shit! Damn it! All right, he's getting like way too fast. It's like there's a lot to keep track of on the screen here. <laughs> okay, it's like I got to dodge all these stupid ass crystals. I got to dodge him. Well, he's getting so puny. Look out. Look how fucking tiny he is. When will this madness end? Got him. Holy shit. That took way less time than Desert Scourge. I also forgot they were like slimes. Hi. Hello. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Hey, I like how they textured this. That looks really cool. Fine addition to my collection. Crown Jewel. You gain additional 1.5 HP life regen while afflicted with any debuff. That's an interesting trade-off. Massively boosts natural life regen when afflicted with any debuff. However, if we get a crown jewel like this, I wonder if there's gems for the other two jewels that actually give me other buffs. So maybe it's worth farming King Slime. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, Adrenaline, do your best. I got him. Now that was a close fight. Holy crap. Why is it no longer after me? Why? It, it was on screen. What, what happened? Hey, I got him. Hey, I got him. How about that? Oh, hi, everyone. Got him. I think I'm understanding it a bit better. You know what we could potentially do? Maybe as like an interesting build. It's also a necessity. What if we just like started decorating this arena? I'm like looking... Here's the only other place where there's an oasis. So I don't really care if this gets covered up. Basically, I also need to cover up the sand here so none of these desert... Uh, those little things that spew sand spawn because then they just end up griefing the arena. You know, we'll, t we'll take the time to make this place look cool. Now, obviously it won't change the fact that sandstorms can just happen in our arena, but I'll accept that.
Now look, I'm not quite done with this video. I think there's some other things that we can get done as long as we're here. Uh, I have so much money from all my King Slime sparring that maybe we should make a elevator somewhere. And I've already started digging a very deep hole over over here. So we might as well continue it. Oh, we finally found a spider den. Uh, if I could find the stylus, that'd be pretty useful. All right, there you are. Oh, hello. Now I'm thinking this over. And I feel kind of inclined to fight this boss. I feel like, how long do I need this series to run? Because I'm thinking like, I can probably get some of these bosses out of the way at this point in the game. And maybe I could start doing like two bosses a video. I mean, besides, at least we, we at least have to beat the Eye of Cthulhu as soon as possible. I'm tired of him showing up unannounced. I don't like it when bosses show up unannounced like that because it interrupts all the other things I like doing. So uh, let me actually like grab some potions that might be useful. And you know, we'll, we'll give him an honest try. All right, let's do it. So how many times, is the number of times this thing charged consistent? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's like Duke Fishron. It seems to charge three times. No, was that four? One, two, three, four. Okay, it's four. Oh, adrenaline, perfect. Moving in circles seems to be pretty effective on this guy. I probably should have used both at the same time. Shit. Whoa, what the? Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to move that way. Wow, that really throws me off when he doesn't charge twice. Ow. Actually, I, I've got this. I've totally got this. Wow, I totally had that. I don't know. That reminded me a lot of Duke Fishron. And I, I just kind of locked in. That was probably the easiest boss I've fought so far. And honestly, I can like tank a lot of his attacks anyway. So maybe I might even be overleveled for this. Damn it. Rover Drive honestly carries me here. Rover Drive is so nice. New personal best. Like, <laughs> I didn't even practice this boss this much. I'm like kind of schooling him. It's like its movement just really reminds me of Duke Fishron. And you know how many hours I've spent doing pre-mech or doing pre-mech boss gear or fighting Duke Fishron with pre-mech gear. You know how much practice I've done with that. Because it's like one of my favorite things to do in Vanilla Terraria. I probably could swap out the hand warmer too. Ow. I might be losing this one. But he only... Wow, what the... Okay, I got him. You know what? Oh, I, I completely forgot. We get the Shield of Cthulhu. Yes. I guess I can replace the hand warmer. We don't need this. I mean, I gotta fight him again. Like, we we need, like, we, we still have my buffs. I, I can't waste them like that. God, these those little red eyes need to go away. Well, I got him again. <laughs> I really only won out of DPS there. I definitely would have died if the fight went on any longer. Yeah, I'm not going to restrict myself to one boss a video anymore. I'm actually going to try to like... Uh, I'll maybe do two or three at most. It depends on how difficult this gets. And I assume it's going to get incredibly difficult. Anyway, we got to go back to what we were actually doing. And what the hell is happening now? A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. Let me check it out. Oh yeah, there's a there's an event happening here. I'm also getting attacked by flying fish. Sulfuric scales. Ow. Not sure what sulfuric scales do, but I should probably collect it. I didn't bring my sulfur uh potions. Like let me let me keep this on the surface. I wanna collect the scales. Man, I didn't know Calamity added new events. This mod just continues to surprise me. Hey, the dryad's here, finally. We've been waiting for ages. I mean, we should give this new summon a try. Oh, hello. 
Huh. It does 23 summon damage. I could see its merit. I mean, it's incredibly accurate. Oh yeah, I can attack enemies with my shield. I completely forgot. Not only is my dash better, it can hurt people now. That is a croaker staff. That's another summon weapon. Sulfuric skies begin to clear. Was there anything special that anybody dropped apart from the croaker staff? Um, why do you have an exclamation point over your head? What was that? I guess it's because they're unhappy. Where's the dryad? Oh, she's over there. Uh, I was actually looking for this jungle rose. It makes something I was looking into. Oh, I suspected they make armor. Acid wood. Movement speed increased by 35%. Why? What's what's with this like submerge within liquid kind of armor set? So we've got this weapon called the Yadaveo Bloom. Oh, it's a flail. I really couldn't tell what this weapon was. It's like the traditional flails. And then it can also double as a spear, interestingly enough. Now up next, we've also got some stuff from the acid event. One of them being the basher, which is just a very big club. Now maybe next time we can go for something a little more magic oriented. I mean, it's broken, so it's not exactly at its full potential. Then of course we have the parasitic scepter, which is also a magic weapon. Yeah, I think next video we're gonna like seek out something magic oriented or just make the jungle armor. Give that a try. Yeah, this thing's also piercing, so. Well, let me, let me check if this is also piercing. It is also piercing. I think we've got like an Eater of Worlds, an anti-Eater of Worlds build going on here, okay? What is that? I didn't know the Eye of Cthulhu dropped the sword. But look at that, I got like four true melee weapons. I feel so cool. This is also a warding shield of Cthulhu, infinitely superior to the one I have. Let's also buy a dog license and a cat license. And is there anything we can do with this demonite apart from make a fishing rod? We can make a war axe, make the lights bane. I'll make the Light's Bane later, in case we want to use the Knight's Edge. And let us finally answer the question, what the hell were we doing before all this happened? Yeah, this is exactly what we needed. It's the classic quality of life feature a world should have as a elevator. We also get access to a Hellforge. And all the pots, which like contain better items than the normal pots, a higher up. Wow, that's... What the heck? I'm not sure... For an item that's from hell... Not sure how strong this is. Oh, I see. The blade's home in. Man, this game really wants me to do a melee-only playthrough, doesn't it? It even goes through walls. Whoa. What the hell is that? That tree is evil as fuck looking. What is that? Ow. 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 The fuck is all this? You know, I've already put all my money away. Fuck it. Whoa. It's like an entirely new biome down here. This place kind of gives me Starbound vibes. Reminds me of an area in Starbound. Ashen Altar. Used for special crafting. Oh, we also got the Demon Scythe, too. That was really interesting. So we can make something called a Slag Splitter Pauldron. Equipable. Gain 10% reduction, uh, damage reduction while dashing. Enemies you dash through are afflicted with armor crunch. Dashes are empowered by fire, shredding enemies near you with violent explosions. What is all that? Sure. Well, we've got a host of new weapons to work with now. However, I don't think we're going to need the Bloom. I don't think we're going to need the Basher. This thing is just a glorified sword. Broadsword. Uh, the Teardrop Cleaver. I think these are going to be our two weapons. Melee-wise. <laughs>